What's going on guys, Chat Clips here once again, and today we're gonna see some crazy clips of the worst cheaters I can find. Now let go, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, it is definitely insane. Basically, we have this guy over here, he ends up pulling up to school to catch his girlfriend cheating on him with the whole other dude. She ends up stating that they broke up and they were not together anymore, and regardless if that's true or not, the other dude she was with immediately dipped as well. I guess this guy really didn't know about him either. In this next one, because we have this guy over here, I guess he's like in some kind of march with his girlfriend, so some random dude also pulls up and does this to his girlfriend. I'm not even sure why he ended up fighting for her. She is in the street, so leave her in the street. And this next one, we have a clip from the Whatever Podcast, and basically we have this woman over here who has pretty crazy pictures online of herself, and this guy is pretty much saying to her, you're never gonna find a husband if he ever sees any of these pictures. He ends up saying that if this man is disappointed from what he sees, he's probably very insecure with himself, which is an absolute stupid thing to say. Well, regardless, she does say some pretty insane things throughout the clip as well. Is that on Twitter? Yeah. My and there's another, there's another <laughs> photo. There's another photo that we definitely can't show. Jeez. <laughs> Molly, I love you. But that photo and the corresponding photo that comes with it, I got to be honest. It sounds like you're in a relationship. You're happy. Are you in love? I don't know. That photo, though. We're just friends. It's going to be a rap for like 90% of dudes, son. They see that shit. It is a rap, son. <laughs> they see the other photo. The other photo. I can't show what it. It's not YouTube. What is the other YouTube. photo? Pretend. Oh my god, Wait. Mark Johnson sent me these butt blunts. I'm sorry, like... I love this stuff right now. <laughs> I gotta say, 99% of men, if they know that photo's out there, you can't be wifed. I'm sorry, I it's a wrap. I don't want to be wifed by them if that... I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Do you want to be wifed in general? Yeah. yeah. Here's the thing, right? In the dark recesses of your husband's mind will be that photo. <laughs> Pretend this is not this color. Okay. It's huge. Huge. Like, am, is, am I insecure for that? Like, no. I'm sorry. Do, do it's you a wrap. Want, do you want, it is a wrap, son. I can't. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Do, do you want children? I'm up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I do want children. Oh, my God. And this next one, I can't stand this woman. Basically, she just has to say that her man is an alpha male. Now, first off, guys, I don't like that term. I think it's used way too often. It's super corny and cringy. But regardless, the fact that you're calling your man an alpha while you get to do whatever you want to do and hook up with other guys for money is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. I know some men out there that would rather work three jobs and have their women do any of that. I know you like the younger men, but my husband is a man. Okay. He's incredibly intelligent. He is... He's alpha, he's caring, mm. he's just, and he'll kick your ass if you mess with his family. Okay. I love that. My I love your love him. story <laughs> with him. Like, We've known each other a long time. We've been married 28 years. 28? Mm -hmm. But you're allowed to, other people. As long as there's a mutual respect and we know about it. I beg your pardon. And this next one's clip really did catch me by surprise. Just pay attention to what she says at the end of the clip. Done that he doesn't know about it. <laughs> it's hard to think about that on the spot. Seven guys at the same time. Yeah, I wish, I wish, I wish. In this next one, I guess this girl ends up having a huge meltdown at her man because, well, I guess he just did this reveal in the wrong way. Or maybe she did because she just didn't do it fast enough. You should never disrespect your man in front of everyone like this and vice versa. It goes to show a lot about your relationship. A bit of an overreaction, but I can answer your question. Because the countdown ended. I hope that helps. 
as a formerly pregnant person, I really don't like that bad behavior without apology just kind of gets swept under the rug because hormones. If I'm allowed to use my hormones as an excuse for bad behavior, what then is stopping men from using their hormones to say, hit their wife with something out of anger. After all, while a woman's hormone cycle is every 28 days, a man's is every 24 hours. We know that men's testosterone spikes every morning and every evening, so if he gets a little rude and sassy with you during those times, it's okay, it's just a silly, goofy time because it's hormones. No, that wasn't a gender reveal, it was a character reveal. You were so angry that this dumbass confetti cannon went off one millisecond before yours did that you didn't even acknowledge the gender of the baby, which is the whole reason you're there. I get that she kind of did this to roast herself a little bit, but I really hope that she did apologize and reflect on this. Because honey, if you are expecting things to go perfectly right and according to plan, your parents now that's over <laughs> and this sex with this guy is definitely focused i guess we have these girls over here we're trying to i guess distract him bother him and he's trying to be on his grind and focus on school no, girls were always to trying to distract me back in the day i am not joking Neither. i've got nothing here for you hey you got yourself we can talk no i'm not trying to do that so so you'd rather do school work yeah i've got college work to do all right okay well, so you're gonna go home nope Oh my days. And this sucks when I absolutely hate these kind of videos where these women come up with the stupidest icks ever. I really do hope this is just some kind of joke because if these are serious, these women are gonna stay single pretty much forever. This is the biggest ick for a guy. When he has a birthday. When he has a birthday. Yes, if he celebrates his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> your biggest red flag in a guy? Well, he's one of the boys. Yeah. So he just can't have any mates? Friendly reminder. Going to the gym doesn't make you better than anyone else. In this next one, I do hope this is some kind of skit. Basically, we have this loyalty test going on. Now, every single time we do a loyalty test, someone's always cheating. I have yet to see this one actually work out. But regardless, I guess this couple is long distance and they find out this about each other. You guys like boyfriend and girlfriend by chance? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys like live together and stuff? Or? Nah, we're like long distance right now. What is video? Is it all right if you guys like swap phones and see if you guys are like loyal? I don't know. What, what do you mean? What do you, what do you mean by that? I'm not really comfortable. What do you mean? Why are you not comfortable? No. Wait, where are you going? Good, keep recording. Wait, no, wait, where are you going? Yo, to. yo, why, why is she not Please. showing her phone? Yo, yo, keep recording. No, yo, no. bro, like, are bro, you, are you cheating on me? Yo. You're loyal, right? Yes, I'm. Of course I am. Bro, yo. take the phone. Don't, don't, don't let her hide anything. Yo, yo, move, move. Hold on, bro. Yo, yo. Please, please. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean, please? Are you hiding something? No, I'm. You don't mind if he goes through your phone? Fine. Yeah, go through it, bro. Putting your password. Yo, that is suspicious as. Yo, where you going? And this is where I always say, why do you need this kind of loyalty test to be done? Why do you need someone to approach you in order for you to check your spouse's phone? I don't get it. You guys should be open with each other's phones. You shouldn't be hiding anything from there. And for those who say in the comments, oh, that means you don't trust each other. You guys should just break up. Trust is earned. It's not given. So if something seems suspicious about them. They broke that trust in my opinion. Where you, where you going? I'm seeing someone in here. Huh? Who, who, who's Gio saying, I love you more? That's like my... Why emojis? He, Emoji like saying I love you more. That's Yo. my driver instructor. He's kind of like family. You wouldn't mind if we call him up for this video and ask him what he did last time. Sure. Let her call him. Call him. Are you nervous? Yeah. Fine. Like Are I trust her. Hey, we haven't had a driving lesson in a while. Wait, what? That's mad suspicious. No, he's my driving instructor. Yo, I'm muted. You said he was your cousin. I'm muted. Do you remember what we did last time? We just hung out, right? What are you talking about? Hang out. Wait, who's that? Who are you? I don't, take the phone, I don't, take the phone, I don't know. Take the phone, take the phone, take the phone. Take the phone. Who the f no. Stay there, stay there, stay there. What do you mean, baby? There's a heart in this username, bro. I'm Gio. Are you a driving instructor? Yo, shut up. Yes, I am. Why are you baby with a heart? Um, yo, don't let me catch you, bro. No, yo, no, yo, 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 yo,
Please. Oh, no. And this last clip is very interesting. Basically, we have this clip about a woman talking about open relationships and how she loves doing it and such. And you can do whatever you want if you're perfectly fine with doing an open relationship and are comfortable with the other person doing it as well. I guess I can't stop you. However, it is a complete waste of time and you benefit nothing from it. There is no investment at all and there's no way you guys are planning to marry each other if you two can't satisfy one another and have to do it from other people. You clearly don't like each other enough, in my opinion. I know that you've been in open relationships since high school. All of your relationships all have of been my open. She's been open, yeah. Why? Uh, someone in my class that said that they that he was doing a polyamorous relationship, and I was like, "What is that?" And then he explained like, "Oh, so I'm dating like two people at the same time, and my partner is, or one of them is dating multiple people too, and that's just how it is." I'm like, "Well, that kind of makes sense. Why? Why would you have to? I've never heard of that before." Mm -hmm. So it felt more like, like, "Oh yeah, I think that's me." <laughs> just it just makes a lot more sense than just being with one person, and especially like when you're very young. Why would you miss out on other opportunities or like grow with other people than just you know, that's that's how I now, like I said, you guys can have your own opinions about open relationships and how useless that is. But this guy pretty much broke it down perfectly. How do you feel about open relationships? Oh, my God. They are the dumbest idea in the entire <laughs> world. Just stop saying you have an open relationship. Yeah. Say that you want to fuck a bunch of people and this is your favorite one. That's all it is. That is all That's it is. It's never going to work. I'm such a monogamous person. The yeah. idea of my person being with somebody else is just it breaks my heart honestly i, I would hate that i could never share the person that i want to be with no and if that's possessive so be it and this next one was definitely one of the hardest clips to hear basically this woman i guess she's calling up on this podcast and let's just say she ends up doing the worst thing possible which is hooking up with her husband's cousin and having a baby from him while the husband thinks it's his child mind you the cousin and i guess this woman is keeping it a huge secret and they're also still hooking up and i completely hate the demeanor of the people who are leading the podcast i'm not sure why they're being play with her and making so many jokes i of this she seems super happy about what she's doing and doesn't feel any regret at all I've been married for over 10 years i have been sleeping with my husband's cousin oh well we've known each other for a long time before i met my husband mm -hmm. and i got a kid by him wow so whose kid does your husband think it is his <gasps> he thinks it's his baby Oh my he god. He don't know it's his cousin. Wait a minute, so you you have a child by your husband's cousin, but your, your husband, husband is raising it. it as though it's his own. Oh my gosh. Yep. So, what does the cousin think about all this? Is he wanting to like reveal anything? Do y'all feel like coming nope. clean or is this nope. to the grave? No. Nope. No. Nope. To the grave. How close is he with Jeez. his cousin? Um, close enough. And you intend to stay married though? Yes. Are you I still sleeping with the cousin? Hell yeah. Yeah, Hell that's yeah. how it look. <laughs> well, this is not going to get any better, but uh, if Mano no. was here, Mano would have lost his mind. <laughs> Mano would have had a fit. Congratulations. You played yourself. You know, I guess on the topic of people getting pregnant, this guy pretty much explains how getting the wrong woman pregnant can ruin a man's life forever and vice versa, to be honest. This all is originated from hookup culture, by the way, which I will never understand. I'm not sure why people still do it. The risk is definitely not worth the reward, in my opinion. And people got to be more selective with who they choose. He's up your life, have a kid with the wrong woman. Worse, have a kid with a one night stand. Somebody you don't fucking know. To be fair to the women in the room, this massively is amplified for you because the carrying cost is usually greater for women than it is for men. So it applies both ways, which is why, by the way, in both nature and in humans, who generally is the more selective? Women, because they fully understand there is an inherent cost to them if the wrong person gets them pregnant. So, in the interest of full disclosure, women have it way harder than men do there, but as a man, up your life, have a kid with the wrong person. As a woman, fuck up your life, have a kid with the wrong person. Now, kids are always a blessing. If they come in here, they're dropping in for a purpose. So even if the circumstances are shitty, you can usually look back and be think, well, maybe I don't like how this happened, but I absolutely love my children or my child. But just learn that, which means, and the reason I started with men is because who gets to make that decision on the front end? Men. If I'm the worst couple list, guys, I guess this girl was way too busy on her phone during the day. In my opinion, this is 100% cheating because who is she texting so importantly right in front of her date? And this next one, I guess his boyfriend didn't want any sand in his car. Oops, that's cute. I want that baby. I love that. I love that. Excuse me, 
gli uomini come si deve non se ne vedono più e ora faccio inviare il video e tutto. Well that does it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys want more content like this, please click the videos at the top that you guys see. It does help my channel out a lot, but I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.